I'd like to begin by saying that uh, orthodoxy is essentially simply Christianity in its uh, original form. We often forget that for a period of a, roughly a thousand years, uh, with some small exceptions, there was only one Christian church throughout the whole world. In the 11th century, there took place this uh, tragic event, which we call the Great Schism, when the Christianity in the West, the uh, Roman Church, uh, was separated from the Eastern Churches for a variety of reasons. And later on in the West, uh, another cataclysmic event, uh, the Protestant Reformation, uh, which led to the creation of very many uh, uh, confessions. But uh, orthodoxy is uh, uh, original Christianity, which has uh, survived uh, through that whole period without uh, essential change. Many um, faithful and believing Christian people in uh, Britain have been quite deeply disturbed at the way in which their own Christian confessions have changed over the past 20, 30, 40 years. I frequently find that people that come to visit my church to see how the Orthodox pray and what we believe say to me, I feel as if the church that I was brought up in uh, isn't there for me any longer. I don't know where it's gone, but I find that here in the Orthodox Church there is something which I recognize as being what I always believed, so I feel like I'm coming home. For example, personally I come from a Roman Catholic background, and I remember, and this is going back uh, more than 50 years, and the priest said the Mass, he was basically facing the same way as the people, to the east, which means, symbolically, towards God, towards the kingdom of God. And then there was this great uh, reform with the Second Vatican Council, and suddenly the priest is turned round, we are facing each other, and it becomes somehow man-centered. I think that's an important difference, one of them. I think to answer the question, what makes Orthodox Christianity distinct or different from other Christian traditions, probably the best thing to do is to consider what people say non-Orthodox Christians when they experience the Orthodox liturgy for the first time. First of all, people who are believing Christians but not Orthodox, who come to the Orthodox liturgy um, as a first experience, often are struck with the sense of beauty, of sanctity, of holiness. They see that our liturgical life of prayer is something holistic, which appeals to the whole person. Something else that people experience coming to orthodoxy for the first time, um, certainly here in Britain, 
is a sense of belonging and of timelessness. You will often hear people say, I feel as if I have come home. I feel as if I always should have belonged here. And then also the sense of people connecting with something which they themselves had perhaps lost in their own Christian life. But then such people can also be um, struck by the depth of our teaching, of our prayer, of the sense of um, being an Orthodox Christian, being not simply a member of a club that comes to worship in one place on a Sunday morning, but of being part of uh, a worshipping community whose members are trying to deepen their own relationship with Christ. And the name Orthodox Church, Orthodox Christianity, Orthodoxy, can be understood in uh, two ways which are complementary. Orthodox means that which is uh, true, the true teaching about God. But it also means uh, the true worship, the authentic worship. And this is equally important because in orthodoxy, uh, doctrine and worship are essentially two sides of the same coin and separated. What we believe uh, is expressed by how we worship.